Hello everyone, McKinsey here with Unicast. Today we are going to do another design critique. Uh, Garrett Sanderson, a front-end developer and designer, uh, sent in his personal site to be critiqued. Um, so let's just jump in and go for it. So overall, I like the design. I think it could use uh, some work in a few areas, uh, some spacing issues, etc. Um, one thing I don't particularly like is uh, when I first landed on the site, you can see this uh, iPhone section displaying his work. That draws my eye much more than the uh, title, which I assume you want uh, the user to read. So uh, this is a bit much. Uh, I think it's because of the contrast and the size. Uh, one way you could get around that issue is just by using possibly a template with the iPhone outlined. Uh, for example, something like this, and then just put your work right here. Uh, that way the focus isn't on the actual iPhone, but on your work. And as well, it doesn't take, it doesn't draw your eye right away uh, from the, what I assume should be the most important part is uh, the title. Uh, I assume you want them to read the title first so they know who you are and what you're all about. All right, so the next thing uh, is some spacing issues. For example, the hello, I am a front end designer or front end developer and designer. I love creating beautifully simple interfaces. Uh, that is not centered uh, vertically, which kind of bugs me. Uh, it's probably just me as a designer. Uh, I bet you most people wouldn't notice that, but um, I would center that vertically. So you got margin top of 275 pixels. Um, if I drop that down to maybe two, uh, 240 looks pretty good. Um, just to make it centered uh, vertically, actually that might be, let me inspect the element. That might be not quite enough. I'm just eyeballing this, but you could use something like Xscope or something to measure it and get it perfect. So 235. That looks pretty good for now. Um, another thing is I am a very particular about how lines break. So if I do, I feel like it should break at I and then love creating uh, should be on a separate line. So you could do that by just adding a BR tag after the I. Whoops. I added that as text. Let me let me remove that. Then if I edit this as HTML, after put it after the I, there we go. See that visually looks better to me. Maybe even drop the I down. Uh, one other thing I just noticed is a uh, designer is misspelled. I uh, can't really knock you on that because I misspell stuff all the time. I get emails every day from people uh, critiquing my uh, grammar and spelling. So. I feel you there. Um, one other thing is I don't really like how this is a, a gray header and a gray toned image. I feel like there should be more contrast between the two than there currently is. So uh, a few options you could do is uh, get rid of the header altogether, make the image go full height or all the way to the top, and then um, make the logo and navigation set on top of the image. Uh, obviously change it a different color so you can see it better. Uh, or you could make the background possibly white of the header. Let's do background. That looks pretty good. I think that visually looks a lot better. Um, obviously you would need to change your logo, but now there's a defined header, a defined banner, um, and then a defined section for your work. Um, and then again, the spacing on here is not centered. So let's go to the UL margin top. Let's just bump that up a bit. Maybe 232 pixels. That looks good. Yeah, I, I, I dig that. Um, so let's go down to the work recent work section. Uh, like I mentioned before, I feel like the iPhone templates are taking up a bit too much uh, visual importance. So I think I would either change the template you're using um, or maybe shrink the size down. I 
kind of like it nice and big like this. I like how you used multiple um, templates to you show multiple screens. Um, so maybe again, use something like the template outline. All right, then for the uh, copy over here, there's a few spacing issues. So let's try inspecting the element. I would probably uh, group the um, title, the Trojan football game app, and the description of it a bit closer. So let's grab that. Let's do a margin bottom of margin. Let's try zero. Actually, let's do 0.5 RAM, zero, zero, zero. So it's a 0.5 on the top and nothing on the bottom. Maybe let's just try making it zero. Actually, no, there should be some space between the recent work and the title of this. So I'm going to put maybe 1.5 RAM on the top, zero on everywhere else. And then let me grab the P tag. Let's make a margin top of zero just to bring it a bit closer. And you could do like a margin bottom of one RAM. Maybe make it a bit more. Uh, I don't think the button needs to be as close. That's a bit too much though. So 2.5 looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then overall, I feel like the text should be spaced uh, vertically. So you could either add some padding on top, uh, three RAM, just to space it vertically. Um, or you could do something like display a table um, and vertically align it in the middle. But that looks a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, you got recent work. That's definitely visually the most important um, of this section, obviously besides this, because uh, you want to show off your work. And then the title of the work and then the description. And then you can click to view the project. I actually like, I think you should flip this have the re view project button be the pinkish color by default. I think it kind of matches uh, the tones here. Oh, that's just personal preference though. But this is looking pretty good. The next section, recent blog post and who the heck am I? So you got a little about section and your recent blog. I feel like these are kind of just random. Uh, maybe you should make this its own defined section. You could do uh, like a background. Uh, let's just uh, play with it a bit actually. So it's all inside the container. Let's bring this outside of small 12. Let's drag that outside of it. All right, so now these are its own sections. So let me see. Let me make this a small assume it's a 12 column grid. So if I just make it full width, that is definitely way too much. Maybe nine. I'm not sure how to center it by, I'm sure there's class to make it centered, but I'll just select this whole thing, do a float of none, do a margin zero auto. Let's do a text line center. That looks good. Let's make the background a different color. Let's do like an E9, E9, E9. That looks all right. I would probably make the background um, outside of the container and then put the container inside. Uh, that way the background color could go all the way to the edge. And then you could add some padding. Let's do padding of like a three RAM zero. That looks good. Yeah, it's kind of bugging me that it doesn't go full width. But as you can see, um, we have defined header, defined banner. Uh, that looks nice. Uh, the recent work, that looks great. Then you could do, you know what? I feel like this should actually be centered as we are doing here. So maybe you should do who the heck am I after your recent work um, and center it like the recent post. And then I feel like how to make a website. Uh, I was looking through your site and this is part of the blog, I believe. Um, so recent blog posts, maybe you should do like a recent blog post and a recent video. Um, 
Love that you're making videos, by the way. Um, maybe make the recent blog post 50% and how to make the website or the recent video, uh, make that 50% as well. And then the who the heck am I can be its own section with its own color. Let me uh, try that. So let me move that up above. There we go. Let's uh, change that, remove that background color. Then let's, uh, this section, like I said, this would be a lot easier in an actual text editor instead of just the dev tip or dev tools. Let's do text line center, display block, margin zero auto. Um, that does not work. There we go. And then you could do something like, where's that image coming from? Maybe make the image above. Who the heck am I? See, that's floated. Let's do float none. Margin top to rem. <clears throat> that looks better to me. Let's do a background. That looks good. Obviously you want to do a PNG so the white background doesn't show up. Maybe let's try a bluish gray color. Beautiful, look at that. And then again, make this go outside of the container. Actually, I wonder if I can just do that. Pull it outside of the container. And where did it go? Let me undo that. Um, yeah, so that looks good. And then I would make this 50% and 50%. I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much just cause uh, like I said, it's hard to do inside of the uh, Chrome DevTools. But um, a few more things. This uh, should probably be in the same column as the description instead of on top. So let's see how you're doing this. So that is going full width. And then you're doing, I'm not quite sure how you're doing that. Where is that video? Okay, either way, I would make the video a defined column um, and then move this over uh, to match or to start up on the same edge as the description and all the other stuff. And then you could do a few spacing things like this looks a bit tight. Um, so you could do something like just add a padding bottom of one RAM. That's too much. Maybe 0.5 RAM. And then do the same thing for the other allies. That looks good. And then you probably want to uh, space it visually with, um, in this video, I'll cover X. Um, this is kind of just floating here because of the spacing. So if you do margin bottom of zero, uh, that's way too much, 0.5 RAM. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, again, this is kind of bugging me that it doesn't line up with the other stuff. Um, but I think you get the point where I'm going with that. So yeah, I'm liking this. So we have a defined uh, visual hierarchy. This should be definitely the first thing you read. Uh, shows the user or the visitor what the site is all about and who you are. Um, and then this is the headers defined, the uh, banners defined. Your recent work, that looks a lot better just because it's uh, visually spaced evenly. Um, it could probably go down slightly more. Um, again, I would change the templates you're using uh, just because it draws a lot of weight, unless that's what you're going for. I'm not sure. Um, and then I feel like this should, like I mentioned, be a uh, its own section, change the color of the background and make it its own little thing. Um, the spacing of this text is far too wide with 
let's make it like 60%. Display block, margin, zero auto. There we go. I think the amount of uh, characters is like 75 or something. Uh, the perfect amount of characters to read across. Uh, any more than that, it uh, kind of strains the user's eye. So if you have uh, just long lines of text, it, it's easy to get lost. So um, I, I don't don't quote me on that because I might be wrong. Um, let's take off that margin left, make it centered. Let's make some padding for rem zero. There we go. If this was going full width, I would like that a bit more. Uh, get rid of that border bottom because then the uh, color defines this section. And then again, I would probably do a two column for the recent blog post and then another column for the recent video. Okay, Garrett, I hope you found these tips useful and uh, feel free to use them or not, it's up to you. Uh, but if you would like your site critiqued, uh, send me an email at mckinsey at unicasts.com um, and I will potentially uh, critique it in a future video.